What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian on the episode 7 of Hitchhiker's Guide to Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, uh, by the way, so if you guys are new in here, just to understand, this is a guide showing mostly new players the fastest, realistic way to get to the Arbiter using the minimum amount of resources. It's pretty much a guided guide. What? Kind of redundant, but doesn't matter. Basically, uh, I don't play more than a couple of hours a day with this account, so people can actually follow and be realistic, realistically uh, leveling with me. All right, so let's see where we stopped last night. Uh, sorry about that, went higher than I planned to. All right, so get four rank five champions. Okay, so I did a lot of leveling last night, and. War priests, I choose you, because that's all I have. <laughs> okay, upgrade. Another mission complete. Clear stage seven of Godfrey's crossing on hard. Cleared. Win five greater void potions from stage seven or higher. All right. Hopefully this one gonna be quick. Because a couple of the other ones, they dragged. And by the way, I haven't got Diabolus yet. So this may hold us up just a bit. <coughs> and I don't know I'm fighting that low. Alright guys, not too bad this time. I may have done about 6 battles and I was able to get everything I needed. What is really rare. I think it's because I'm running out of energy and... You know, maybe they just realized it may be nice to me or I have to stop. Anyway, let's see tournaments, what I have. <laughs> Alright, good. Upgrade two of him to bonuses to level two. By the way, I had 800 gems, so I upgraded Ninja as far as I could. Earned 3 stars on stage 7 of Godfrey's Crossing and no hard difficulty. Unlock Tire 3 Mastery for 2 champions, same thing. Clear stage 7 of the Hollywood House on hard, done. Win a total of 4, 5 or 6 star artifacts from stage 5 or higher of the Fire Knight's Castle. This may be a problem, let's see. Not bad, I hardly pass it. Alright, let's see how I do with one. Alright guys, before I forget, uh, there is going on a 2x event, like I told you, was going to start this weekend. I guess we can, uh, a lot of, for a lot of those games starts on Friday. So, 2x event, that would be a game changer for this account. And could help in a lot of ways for us to actually go a lot faster on the Arbiter missions. Plus, one thing, uh, it doesn't matter if I get a Lego, it almost doesn't matter what Lego it is. Great chances are it will help the account. A lot of Legos that may be rated at two and a half, three points in Hell Hades websites and other websites. Most of the time it's talking about mid-level to end game accounts. Okay? At our level right now, anything would help. So let's get that first chart first. Whew. Let's see. Come on. And it's a rare. And it's food. It's food. Food's good. So, epics and Legos. Come on, guys. Come on. No. Come on. Apothecary. Not too bad. Yes. Marksman. Oh, come on. Marksman. Uh, not the worst. It does have a poison. Uh, on the A1, A2, attacks one enemy, fills a turn meter of all allies by 20%. So, right now, not too bad. 
and it's in a three turn cooldown if booked what I may hold on it and the A3 attacks four times at random so A3 probably not a good opener because Fire Knight usually already have like half of his turn meter on but as a second attack on the Fire Knight this probably could help us bring the shield down and keep it down until we get him destroyed. So, not too bad. Plus, he has the aura of increased ally speed in arena battles by 20%. Not the best, but I could probably put him in arena. Uh, yeah, food for thought. Anyway, guys, let's go back. Whoa! Another ancient shard. All right, let's see. Maybe, maybe that's the lucky one. Maybe that's the lucky one. Let's see. Spy Master. Okay. He does have a block buff. It's not too bad, and a counter attack on this champion. All right. All right, another mission complete. Let's come in here. Ascend the champion to level five. All right, who that gonna be? So let's see if I can get it. Yes, perfect. Mission complete. Earn three stars on stage seven of Hollywood Halls on hard mode. I have been trying to run this, but no luck so far. So what I gonna do, I gonna try to come here and level her up now that she's five stars. She wasn't at the time. Oops, put Kyle on. Let's see how he does. Boom, whoa. That was close, too close for comfort, but that's good. All right, upgrade four champions to level 50. All right, so I have those two to still level, gonna take a little bit and I'll be back right after. All right guys, so finally, if you see, my shirt's different and I'll explain later why. So, okay, mission. Upgrade four champions to level 50, finally complete. This one wasn't hard, okay? So win a total of four, five, or six star accessories from stage five or higher of Spider Stand. All right. All right, last one. Thank God. All right, we need the energy, that's great. Clear stage seven of Brimstone Path, already done. So I did this when I was trying to get someone that they're gonna show you. All right, 1500 damage, easy peasy. I need just a little bit more. I'm actually hitting by a 3.3, so no danger in here. All right, 3.33, perfect. So missions complete. Earn three stars, stage seven, brimstone path. I also completed as I had to level uh, four, uh, four champions to level 50. Reach silver one, class arena. We reached that a long time ago, so no worries. And Theus Jessar, now let me tell you, this video is coming out late because Plarian have this thing that if you need one champion to finish a fusion it will take thousands of shards or hundreds of runs to be able to get this champion now the reason I'm saying that's because 
I get Diabolist every single time that I do a couple of runs at the Brainstorm Path. For some reason, I ran probably over 200 runs to be able to get one. And it has been in my main account as well, every time I need a particular uh, champion. For example, uh, Razzling, it was Ryder. Ryder, it doesn't matter. I had pulled over 500 shards and I could not get her. Okay, and before I needed her for a mission, I actually used her to level other champions because I didn't feel the need at the time. My fault, but the moment she was the only one left for this fusion, and that was required for me to pass to the next step, I could not get her. Anywho, I digress, let's do it. So, right now, I still need her on the tavern to be ascended. I think I was missing one. That's correct. So, let's ascend this real quick. Alright, let's ascend one less. Perfect. <coughs> Potion mixer. Let's get one. That's all I need. Send as well. All right. Fuse. Fuse just sorry. All right. Perfect champion mission. And we got a nice sacred chart. We're gonna be opening right now after we collect this. So, clear stage 7 of Carrick's Castle on Brutal. Boom. Okay. Well, let's open this ancient shard since it's in a 2x right now. See if we get anything interesting. Hopefully. And Margrave could be worse. All right, guys, so fingers crossed on that sacred chart. <laughs> Sinesha! All right. Look, some of those champions I never used my life. So let, let me take a look. Burning Wave attacks all enemies. Well, yeah, it's just from Brainstone Path. Attacks all enemies, place an extra hit to enemies with less than 50 HP after the first hit. Attacks one enemy, puts the target skills on cooldown, he's the ally with the lowest HP by 25%. Alright, and the last one, equalize the HP of all enemies, uh, all allies. The HP levels of all allies will be brought up to the level of the ally with the highest HP. Then heals the target ally by 10% of their max HP. So, this is not bad, but it, it all depends on how it all works in the end. Plus, it's a six turn cooldown, what I understand. Well, five turn if booked, but she takes way too many books. So, yeah, waste of a shard. Anyway, guys, right now we just stepped into history. Yes, of the Arbiter missions, and it is to upgrade the champion to rank 6. This will take a little long, so not going to be in this video. And just so you let you guys know, I will actually be running this as fast as I can, because everything, all of the uh, potion keeps, going to be closing in 8 hours and 40 minutes. So, if I have any missions like this, I'm gonna have to wait on the calendar. Alright, so that's it about today. Uh, for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment. And as always, I'll see you in the game.